Hello. Today's video is going to be about implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation involves finding the derivative of a um, with respect to a variable where we're, it's, uh, the equation that we have is not written in terms of that variable. We don't have a function of that variable. For example, if I want to find dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, for the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. This is an equation that is not written as a function, y as a function of x. In fact, we can't write this as uh, y as a function of x. It's the equation of a circle. It is not a function. But we can still find the derivative with respect to x. And what we would do is we take the derivative of both sides, considering any variable that is not the variable that we want to take the derivative with respect to, i.e. any variable other than x in this particular case, we consider as a function of x, some unknown function of x. y is some function f of x, unknown function. And so in that case, differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x. The derivative of x squared with respect to x becomes 2x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x, this is now a chain rule application because y squared is really some unknown function f of x quantity squared. And so then its derivative becomes 2 f of x times the derivative of the inside, f prime of x. And of course the derivative of 9 is just 0. And so then we can find uh, f prime of x by just solving. And so we get 2 f of x, f prime of x is equal to negative 2x, or f prime of x is negative 2x over 2f of x. Remember though that we said that y was f of x, and so this becomes negative 2x over 2y, or just negative x over y. This is my derivative with respect to x. Notice this is not a function of x. The original was not the derivative is also not a function of x. Now generally we don't put in this intermediate step. We just understand that anytime I take the derivative of something, uh, one variable with respect to a different variable, you have to consider this an unknown function and it involves a chain rule. So for example, I'll leave that up there for the moment. If I have uh, another simple equation, a little bit more complicated, x squared, y squared, plus sine y is equal to x cubed, and I want to find, again, dy dx. Anything that's not um, x, I consider as a function of y. This is now a product. So I have to use the product rule first times the derivative of the second, the derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx. Remember, it's a chain rule. Plus, second times the derivative of the first. This is a product, requires second part. This again is a chain. The derivative of sine of y is cosine of y times dy dx. The derivative of x cubed is just 3x squared. And now we need to solve for dy dx. Think of this as your variable that you're looking for. It's a nice, simple, linear equation. We'll collect. I have 2x squared y 
dy dx plus cosine of y dy dx is equal to 3x squared and I'll subtract 2xy squared from both sides to move that to the other side. I can now factor out the dy dx and I'm left with 2x squared y plus cosine of y is equal to, this side we will keep as it is, and then divide. My derivative dy dx is 3x squared minus 2xy over 2x squared y plus cosine of y. And we can leave it like that. Make sense? Let's see um, another problem here. Suppose I have tangent of x plus y squared is equal to cotangent of x minus y squared. This is problem 1D in your worked out solutions. Again, I want to find dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x. So on this side, I have a chain rule. The derivative of tangent would be secant squared of the inside remains the same. The derivative of the inside, the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of y squared, again, we consider this y as a function of x, and so we have to use a chain rule, is equal to the derivative of cotangent of x is uh, negative cosecant squared of x minus 2y dy dx. And at that point, I just have to solve for dy dx. So I will distribute this through. First, secant squared of x plus y squared plus 2y secant squared of x plus y squared dy dx is equal to negative cosecant squared of x minus 2y dy dx. And now we collect terms that have dy dx on one side, 2y secant squared of x plus y squared dy dx Oops, plus 2y dy dx is equal to, this stays, negative cosecant squared of x, and I move this over, minus secant squared of x plus y squared, and then we factor out and solve. dy dx is e uh, times 2y, let me put a bracket here, secant squared of x plus y squared plus 2y is equal to my left hand, on my right hand side, And then, therefore, dy dx right over here is equal to negative cosecant squared of x minus secant squared of x plus y squared over 2y secant squared of x plus y squared plus 2y. There we have it. Um, one more thing. Well, actually two more things, but first off, I notice I've been saying that we take the derivative, I've been taking the derivative with respect to x. We can take the derivative with respect to any variable we wish. So for example, going back to my very first 
equation that I have. If I wanted to find, um, instead of dy dx, dx dy, I want to take the derivative with respect to y. Now x is an unknown variable of y, and we would then say 2x dx dy plus 2y is equal to 0. I want to take the derivative with respect to y, so anything with y when we take the derivative is normal. Any other variable, we have to take the derivative, uh, consider that variable as an unknown function, and use the chain rule. And so then, as before, 2x dx dy is equal to negative 2y. We will solve for dy, uh, dx dy in this case. And then dx dy is equal to negative 2y over 2x or negative y over x. I could have taken this equation and taken the derivative with respect to t, for example. Let me just write this. Find the derivative. WRT means with respect to T. And now I am considering both X and Y as functions of T. So the derivative then becomes 2X DX DT plus 2Y DY DT is equal to zero. And in this case, since I have two of these derivatives, I will just leave it like that. One last thing, we can use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of um, arc tan functions. Suppose I want to find y prime when y is equal to arc sine of x. First off, I'm sure you know this, but arc sine of x does not mean 1 over the sine of x. This is values whose, uh, instead of, if you think of the sine function, instead of get putting in a value for the sine like an angle, even though we put in a real number, but the sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. Instead, we can then say the arc sine of square root of 2 over 2 is pi over 4. You should have seen that in your pre-calculus or trig class. But to take this derivative, what we will do is say the sine of y is equal to x. And now I'll take the derivative implicitly. Cosine of y dy dx is equal to 1. So dy dx is equal to 1 over cosine of y. We don't want to leave this in the, this form since my original, um, I was given originally an, a function, y is a function of x. I would like my derivative to be a function of x not implicitly defined. So I will go and draw a triangle here. I will think of y as an angle. The sine of y being x, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And so therefore, using the Pythagorean theorem, this other side is as length 1 minus x squared, which means that therefore cosine of y is the square root of 1 minus x squared over 1, or just the square root of 1 minus x squared. Therefore, y prime in this case is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. We can do the same thing um, for arc cosine and arc tan, etc., to derive those formulas for what the derivatives are.